Okay, when we first started a couple of years ago, the situation was such that uh, you know bike sharing was new, e-bikes and e-scooters were just coming on, on, on the scene. So not many people were aware of safe riding habits or proper use of bike sharing facilities. So I think as a community, we thought, felt that we need to step up to help educate the, the residents on the right way of actually doing bike sharing or the right way of using e-bikes and e-scooters so that it benefits the entire community. For me, because we only cycling and we walk to the main road, we saw how they drive, so we keep join this one so we can educate them how to ride safely. We always stop them, we just introduce uh, our name first. I say uh, we are from where? Nisun is MP. So it just, oh, uh, excuse me, we with a smile. Yes, we also stop them with the plug stop. They also with the smile. Don't don't uh, say rudely. Hello, excuse me. No, with the smile first. Everybody get ready. Stand by. Action. We have a EP days, emergency preparedness days uh, for Ayer Raja will be formed. And uh, all of these, day, these uh, EP days, we are thinking of something that we need to educate the residents. So we come up with these AMP skates where I get uh, Mr. Julian to, to take the lead to, to ride the skates. And then we uh, do uh, some of our practices. And then we did, because uh, during this EP day, we have about 800 of our residences coming to attend our EP days. So that is one of the uh, good moments a good time for us to at least uh, teach or educate the awareness of the to the residents of all these uh, safe cycling. A visual is better than a thousand words actually. So you can distribute pamphlets, you could have uh, education programs, but when you have something live, people see it, that takes into their mind actually. So it's a lot effective than having pamphlets and other things. Okay, when I write the script, the script was based on an actual story. So from the story, I formulated the script to ensure that you know that is what happened during the time when uh, there's a confrontation between the uh, between the PMD user and that of the uh, pedestrians. Uh, after doing uh, quite some time, uh, we find that the cyclists uh, really they behave themselves also. Yeah, so. When they see us, uh, that's quite familiar. They say, oh, oh, I got light here, a white and a red behind already. Uh, then we are so happy and they say, oh, we had to thank them also. Uh, that they all follow our way of doing that. As a warden, we not only do the cycle safety at the four crossing, and we do also for help elderly to cross the road if they bring some lucky item. And we, then we need our help to, sometimes we push back to their place, not only to the, at the traffic light, to their home because they stay at Miao or uh, our area block. Beside making friends, I think more than friends. In fact, they were they are also our ambassador. In, in turn, they will feedback. Uh, they will tell you. Uh, sometimes on a hot day when we are there for one and a half hours, some of them buy drinks, for example, and say, "Hey, have a drink." So, so things like that becomes more than a friend. Uh. But at the same time, we also want to not just engage the same people, but we also want to engage more so that we can build a community of caring uh, to ensure that uh, this footpath is really safe for everybody. So that's how the community can help. Lah. And, and that we can get everybody to rally and to make sure that uh, Tampines is a good cycling town, a good, safe and pleasant town to cycle. Thank, Thank you, you EMP volunteers.